played with John. We exercised, and now we're watching the NBA Finals. Why are you don't. watching it today? I thought you watched the game last night. We didn't get to finish it, so don't tell us who won. It's finally! Why are you so excited? We won. What? We, we won. won! Who's we? Uh, that. The who? Yellow. The Cavs won? Yep. I think I've mentioned this on a video before, but when I come home, I like to get my clothes changed, and then Johnny and I come in here, and we play the drums for a minute. And usually, I just let him sit on the floor with a couple of extras that I have that I don't have in my set. But lately, he has been wanting, he's really been pulling on my, on my leg to come up and play with me. And it's really cute how excited he, maybe you can see already how excited he gets. But we've been doing a few different things down here. The problem is he gets so excited that I can't do it. <laughs> Okay, do you want to do it? Oh, there you go. Good job! That's him pushing up. So today we're going to make no bake cookies. First you have to let all the butter melt into this boiling pot. You should start out at medium. Next, you pour in sugar, this much, this sugar, and cocoa. <clears throat> get as much as it is as you can get into it. Then you have to stir it all well. edges as you can and once it's all combined really well you pour in milk you need to make sure that you keep on stirring it so the milk doesn't burn I'm gonna pour in the peanut butter if you don't like peanut butter kind of like I do who these are actually good because you you don't really taste the peanut butter. The peanut butter is kind of like the eggs, but it keeps it together. And it tastes good with it. I need to stir it up really well. Now that I got all the peanut butter in, I think it's done pretty well. Now I'm going to dump my oats into here. I'm going to mix them in a little bit. Now that it's all well mixed up, you need to take a, a, some vanilla and just pour it in to get the flavor. What you're going to do next is take big blocks of it and just put it on the wax paper. Now I'm, do, now I'm almost done with taking all the batter out. It makes about two dozen and a few. The recipe is down below if you want to make these. So I've taken over my mom's living room for this. So that is my most recent set. We've also got this. So the actual animations, in case you didn't know, was simply like, okay, let's start out with how to animate the Batmobile. So you're just taking pictures. Again, and again, and again. And again, and again, and again, and you just, like, you get the idea. The smaller the movement and the faster the frame rate, in other words, how many frames per second it is, is, it'll just make it so much smoother. This is the webcam that I use. It's not really special except for the fact that it has tr lights right there that are activated through this. So I have to build entirely new sets for different scenes, so, like, over here I've got an uncompleted bat cave, right there, it has R2-D2 in it, ow, I'm fine, and then we've got the Justice League Watchtower that is sort of broken right now, the clip for the trailer is, 
is, it's going to take a while because I also have to put in the voices. But it's going to be these two characters just walking. This is Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash. So just let me take this Flash out for a second. So he's just going to be standing there. And Emmett's going to be screaming and running right at him. So it's going to go, do, 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 do. This guy's going to step aside, do, do, do. So then it's going to be like, there's a monster downtown or something. Then Barry's going to be like, got it. Then he just turns into the Flash with a few spins. Then goes, do. And then Emmett turns and looks at him. The end of that particular clip, I guess. Right. This is mostly fun because... You get to see your little Lego minifigures come to life, or even clay figures that you just create. Said, "Hey guys, give me some suggestions on some scenes that I should build." The main theme of it is the Marvel heroes invading the DC world. So, how about you tell me some battles or scenes that you might like to see? Please be sure to watch the trailer. So a few years ago, when we lived in a different state, we did a really fun project where we took some big rocks and we put them in the oven and heated them up and then melted crayons on them. <coughs> and it turned out really neat and looked really awesome in our yard. The only problem was is when we moved to clear across the country, it was too heavy to bring them with us and we had to leave them behind. And so tonight, we're going to recreate that for the yard that we live in now. We have to be really careful with the rocks because they've been cooking in an oven. They're 425 degrees. For 425 degrees for quite a while. So we have to be really careful. And, and the baby will away. not be with us. He's staying far away. So now we're going to get started doing it. So you just take the gray on. Is there smoke coming off, Jacob? Yeah. I don't, wait, you may not be able to see, but there's smoke coming off these rocks. They're that hot, you probably need to put them in there. Okay. And you just hold it down like this, and you can draw. draw on it and do whatever you want. They turn out really neat. Up. We sure have had a lot of fun doing this, haven't we, Jacob? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool, and it's definitely something that I want to do some more of because I think it'd be really pretty to have throughout our whole yard. Anyway, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna replace all of our normal rocks. Every, every tiny single little rock, rock, right? Yeah, all of the ones in our driveway and everything. We'll have a rainbow driveway. People and will we'll, know when they're at our house. They'll be like, whoa, rocks. And also, we'll run out of crayons. We can always go buy more. This is a good way to use up the crayons that the kids brought home from school that were all broken and yucky. Flop them on the table, grab some rocks, and we're set. We're good to go, right? Except you need another job. And you need another job. That's true. Anyway, guys. We just want to thank you so much for watching this video and we hope that you'll keep watching because every day that's our goal is to have a new fun idea and we just would love to have you come along on this journey with us. We're pretty good at keeping us occupied, I'll tell you that. Jacob thinks that we're doing a pretty good job so far so hey if I get his vote then that's a good thing. Anyway everybody have a good night, we'll see you tomorrow with something new and fun. Thanks for tuning in, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.